you know, good good college basketball game today. Um, Wisconsin's good. Um, we didn't make shots. I, I, I did. I did love how we played defense. They're one of the most efficient offensive teams in the country. We get, finally got back to rebounding the way we want to rebound. But um, the, you know, the ball didn't fall in today. I thought we had some good looks too. I'll watch the film. Um, but that's the league champs. Um, they're one of the most experienced teams in the country. And you know, again, it's another game where the foul line becomes you know a huge thing for us. And uh, uh, you know, but I like I like that Rutgers team today. I thought we were tough, and I thought defensively and physically, and I thought our guys were connected. If we keep on that path, you know, we're going to be fine. Got off a question from Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, what what will you say to uh, to Ron Harper? He's fighting through a slump. Obviously, he's a super valuable guy for him, for you guys. What will you say to him now at this point? Yeah, I mean, Ron, Ron's a good player. I mean, he's just uh, you know he's getting guarded. I mean, he did a lot of things too for us today. He had to defend um, multiple guys too on on the perimeter. And and you know, Ron's a good player, so I expect Ron to you know just bounce back. Um, you know, want him to get to the free throw line a little bit more. I think that would help us. Help us a great deal, but you know Ron's a good player. Uh, Ron approached practice. We had a great week, you know, of practice leading into this game. I thought we had a good game plan. Um, you know, the ball just didn't go in, and again, I thought we got good looks, and I thought a lot of good looks. But um, you know, it's got to go in too when you play a team like this, because the margin of winning and losing against the Wisconsin isn't isn't a lot. Thanks. Thanks. Coach, you guys got to the line just seven times. Um, how do you change that? I mean, do you have to change your offensive sets, philosophies? Uh, how, how do you kind of get more free throw attempts over the course yeah, of the I mean, game? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Wisconsin does a good job. They don't foul anybody, so that's kind of one of their things. And, uh, you know, we got to get the ball inside. I think having Cliff back today helped us, you know, a, a little bit. He's not in that kind of shape yet, but uh, he certainly did. But uh, we can get the ball inside more. I thought we drove it too, and I thought we got fouled on a few possessions. But uh, we got to make free throws too. So um, you know, when we do get there, um, two for seven with a few one and ones too is not is not good enough. We'll go to Brian Fonseca and then Steve Politi. Steve, you guys have had your three worst scoring outputs over the last three games. You shot ten percent tonight. Is it something that? Teams are doing against you guys. Are you guys just what do you attribute the offensive struggles to? Yeah, I mean, I thought we got good looks. So, you know, we shot 10% from three point land. Um, but, you, you know, I thought we got good looks. And, um, you know, again, I'm going to have to watch the tape, but I thought we got open ones and we got good shooters. I mean, at one point we were uh, one of the best three point shooting teams. So, you know, but credit to Wisconsin. You know, their defense is good, they're one of the most efficient defensive teams in the country and uh, they're an efficient offensive team that's why they're such a hard team to to prepare for and beat steve big picture question i mean at what four straight losses at what point do you start getting concerned about you know where the season might be headed I uh, we go one game at a time steve so i appreciate that i think we got better today with our defense we got to continue to defend like that and rebound and you know we play in the best league in the country so you can go on losing streaks and hopefully we can go on a good winning streak too over to Richie and then Aaron. Steve, it seems like some of the starters have been struggling a little bit. Uh, any thoughts to changing that up uh, going on pro or going forward? We'll, we'll, we'll watch the tape. We played hard today. All those guys did. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the tape. We'll get ready for the next game. Um, you know, we finally got a team that's healthy uh, back on the floor. And, and I had a full allotment of guys, which I really like. So we'll take a look at everything and, and we'll try to make some adjustments here. But uh, it doesn't get any easier in a league like this either. Coach, you held Wisconsin uh, without a field goal for about an eight-minute stretch in the second half, but weren't able to take advantage. Do you think mentally that kind of took a toll on the team when, once uh, Wisconsin started making a couple shots? Yeah, I mean, and, and they do, and they could bury some threes too. But, you know, our, our defense today was good, you know, and, and, and we haven't been playing defense like that. Um, we spent a lot of time the last few days on that, and and again, they're a very efficient offensive team. So, like the fact that we we're able to keep them scoreless, but again, you got to take advantage of it too down the other end of the floor. And you know, the ball didn't go in today. And 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 again, I'm going to say it again. And I haven't watched the film, but I will as soon as I leave here. I thought we got good looks too. So as long as we keep getting good looks and we play defense like that, we'll we'll be fine. We'll go to Jerry Carino and then Matt Manley. 
Steve, how much did uh, Cliff's presence help Miles today? It looked like he had a little extra pep in his step. I mean, you know, uh, Cliff's the most athletic player in the program, so to not have him for the last month, obviously, and not be able to, you know, play him with Miles and do the different things that I wanted to do. So that hurt us, but it was a great lift to have him back. He's high energy. He's a good teammate. You know, he'll block and alter shots. And those big guys are tough matchups, too, because they can shoot threes and they can post you. Um, but just having someone with his size and his athleticism and, you know, back on the floor, and, and you know, he really hasn't practiced either. So um, look forward to getting him back into, you know, the regular reps and, you know, have another big guy, too, that can rebound and block shots. Certainly helped us on the glass. I mean, that's the first time we've out-rebounded a team, you know, you know, since since he's been back, so getting him back huge to us on that that end of the floor. Um, did uh, it, back when you guys were hitting like 45, 50 percent of your threes early in the year, and everything was kind of clicking. As a coach, is part of you kind of anxious or at all concerned, like thinking, okay, how are my guys going to respond when they eventually stop going in as they? And to do at some point during the season. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I was only been really concerned lately about our defense and our rebounding. So you, you know, sometimes the ball goes in, sometimes it doesn't. But we had chances to win today, um, and the ball didn't go in. So um, you know, pleased that they stayed the course. Um, pleased that we improved a lot on the defensive end, um, and pleased that we we rebounded the way that we're supposed to rebound. I mean, we got more shot attempts than them. We got. 20 offensive rebounds. This is an elite, you know, uh, defensive team too. So, you know, there were some real positives tonight. And I know we didn't win the game, and and I'm not one of those coaches, but you know, we look like Rutgers, you know, defensively and rebounding wise, and that's you know that's a positive. And we got to do that moving forward for the rest of the year. We can go, uh, Jerry. If you have one last question for us, we can let you wrap it up. No, I don't. I don't have any more questions. Thanks. All right, we'll let Coach go on that. Thanks. Okay, guys, appreciate you being on. Thank you.